ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to KTV News. Today we have a special case regarding Vicki Varner being reported missing. Not only was her body found, but investigators have a suspect in mind. Now we go to Castle Town Beat and Castle Town for more information about this case. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Jo. We are here at the crime scene of Saul at Lake Melvin Lodge. This is where Vicki Varner's body was found. Detective, can you please tell us what happened? Thank you, Cassie. Of course we already have a suspect, Yaz Young. We believe that actually the two met with each other at a lodge and discussed what they don't like about Ms. Vicky. You know, she's currently mayor, and they also have some considerations they would like for her to take in. Young and Navarre Yaz down driving Young's car to meet Vicky at the lodge. Due to the messy room and broken furniture, we figured that Vicky disagreed with Young's considerations and started to quarrel. We found the tire tracks in the road that seemed to match Young's tires on his car. So Natalie took Young's car and left because she did not want to be a part of their heated argument. How do you think Vicky was killed? Well, according to the evidence we found, she fell from the second floor with a velocity of zero and went down. So Mr. Young hit her with the tire iron, considering his fingerprints were on it, and fell from the second floor to the ground. Once she fell, Young then shot her to confirm that she was dead. The federal bullet was found in Vicky's chest, only making the Beretta Nano and Taurus PT-709 the possible murder weapons. Natalie Navayazdan owned a Beretta Nano making it a prime piece of evidence. Yaz Young stole her gun and committed the crime. The momentum of the Beretta Nano's recoils between 2.2 and 2.4 kilogram meters per second. The momentum of the federal bullet has a discharge of 2.41 kilogram meters per second, making this handgun and bullet combination plausible. Were there any more fingerprints found on the tire iron? Yes, Anita Angus did have her fingerprints on the tire iron, but yet she was selling a lot of her equipment. So in this case, we believe Mr. Young was actually buying it from her. Thank you, Detective. We now visit a fellow bystander to hear what he has to say. What was your opinion on the case? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's Young. He was a bad guy, but uh, I still think he deserves a right to a public trial because that'd be a violation of the Sixth Amendment. Either way, what he did was wrong, and I feel uh, he still has rights. They actually already found his motives. The first one was revenge. That Young kills Vicky for revenge on Victor for dating Poland. The second one was to save his animal business. Unfortunately, we ran out of time, but we will be right back with more information about Vicky Varner's case. Do you really believe you're the best? Absolutely. They broke the mold when they made me. You heard it here first. Richard Sherman, the best ever. Is Richard Sherman the best football player of all time? He better walk. Hey, best ever! Not again. Son, you got a lot of heart, but there ain't nothing special about you. Damon Wayans Jr. I'll show you is Richard Sherman. I'll show everybody! I'm better than everyone! It hits picks and life. Coming soon to a theater near The best? Are you kidding? Richard, are you ready to take back what you said? No, I have to believe I'm the best corner in the game. On the best defense. He's the best! I'm the best ever! Huh. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more in car insurance. Hey, I know that. Well, did you know that former pro football player Icky Woods will celebrate almost anything? Uh uh. Number 44. Woo! 44, that's me! Get some cold cuts, get some cold cuts, get some cold cuts. Woo! Give me some! Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to K2B News. We are going to go straight ahead with Vicky Varner's case. Another evidence we found was that Young had the most unconfirmed alibis and the least confirmed alibis. We measured three of the largest Maggie's, which had an average size of 13 millimeters. 
Based on the size, this proves Vicky had been dead for about five days. Unfortunately, we ran out of time as investigators say Yas Young was the murder of Vicky Barney. To learn more about this case, go to www.k2bnews.com. Until next time. All right, guys, we're trying to film this one part of the video because our partner's video is not playing, so we have to do a ghetto way of doing it and record off the screen. And when we're trying to record, my little sister is, like, going crazy. She's, like, screaming, and it's hard to get this one video. What do you think, Joel? Man, I'm just trying to get this thing finished. Yeah, it's 10-14 uh, right now, and the video is due tomorrow. Tomorrow. So if you guys are seeing this right now, we made it. Yeah, we did a good job. Okay. <laughs> what I don't do for you guys. Okay, should I be like this? <laughs> like that? Yeah. Okay, hold on one second. Just say that. You want me to have my eyes open or closed? What's up, Jillo? What's up, man? How's it going? I'm tired, man. What'd you do all day? Yeah. This video is, it's, so far it's, it's good with like the first couple of parts, but like towards the very end we're having trouble putting in the last clips because video formats and you know outside noises, distractions, like my little sister. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, we don't get enough of your I'll back on the computer and finish this thing up. You want to be part of this video? Uh -huh. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to film a narration right here. You look as well for the camera. <laughs> 